how good is Superbond Benchmark? Well, we're about to do a fighter skill breakdown, so stay tuned. Hello, fight fans. Welcome back to Fantasy Fight Breakdowns. My name is Damon, and for this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the skills of the star prize tie fighter, Superbond. He's going to be coming up in our next Fantasy Fight Breakdown matchup with another TIE Fighter, so stay tuned for that one. But for this episode, we're going to break down his skills category by category to assess how good he really is. If you have a favourite fighter that you want to see me do a breakdown of in a future episode, let me know down in the comments below right now. Let's get to how this show works. In order to do these fighter breakdown videos fairly, there needs to be some consistent rules at play. So every fighter will be assessed in their prime years. I will state what year we are assessing each fighter's skills. They're going to be judged over 10 different categories relating to their training and fighting skills. Each category will score between 1 to 10 points. We need to note skill scores for all fighters are assessed on an equal scale, regardless of their size and normal weight classes. Their skill scores are not match specific, but are assessed considering all possible matchups with different opponents as if they were to be fighting in an open MMA tournament. Every fighter will be given a skill score rating out of 100 points, which will be referenced in future fantasy fight breakdown matchups. Now let's get to the breakdown. Superbond over his career was a 2019 IPCC Kickboxing World 70 Kilo Champion, also 2014 WBC Intercontinental Welterweight Champion. Most recently, he won the One Championship Featherweight Kickboxing World Champion. We're going to be breaking down his skills as he is right now in 2021. His listed reach. 73 inches. Obviously, as a predominant striker, the longer the reach, the better. The more opportunity you have to hit your opponent without being hit yourself. We're going to give him 7 points. He's a tie fighter, very technical with his Muay Thai. He has a square stance and an open high guard. But he also has the ability to blend in boxing counters as well to catch his opponent off guard. We're going to give him 8 points. As a strong tie kickboxer, his rear round high kicks are absolutely amazing. But I'll talk about them a little bit later. He also uses well-timed powerful push kicks to his opponent, catching them off guard, pushing them down to the mat. TIE fighters like to use straight twos and lead hooks to start their combinations. But Superbon has an amazing use of his jab to set up other punches that's not often seen by other TIE fighters. He's very, very patient in his strike. We're going to give him the full 10 points. His size, listed at 5'9", 154 pounds, a good size for his division but slightly on the smaller side. If he is to come up against a bigger and stronger opponent, we're going to give him 7 points. His record, listed at 112 wins, 34 losses, 27 wins via KO, all the others coming via decision. He has fought some of the best there is in Muay Thai and kickboxing. Most impressively, he has fought the likes of Sin Chai three times, beating him twice. He's fought San Chai, he's fought Giorgio Petrosian for his one championship belt. We're going to give him the full 10 points. As all TIE fighters, he has a strict and tough training schedule to prepare him for his bouts. There is no fancy machines or technology to his workouts, just straightforward hard work, commitment to becoming the best and strongest fighter he can be. He's very, very strong for his size. We're going to give him 9 points. Not only does he have strong cardio endurance, but more importantly, he was so effective in his striking that he wastes little to no energy on big movements when they're not needed. His striking accuracy is very good, and this is what prevents him from becoming tired during his fights. He gets 9 points. With his wrestling ability, I'm talking about that freestyle American wrestling ability and techniques. Superbon is very strong in the clinch, wrapping his gloves tightly around the neck and back of the head of his opponents in order to control their center of gravity and move them to where he wants them to be, often breaking the clinch with a big high kick. We're going to give him 4 points. Starting his Muay Thai journey at the young age of 6, growing up in his father's Muay Thai gym, he has really invaluable experience in learning everything there is about kickboxing and Muay Thai. He is also a graduate from the university, showing he has commitment outside the gym. Big note, to have a trainer like Dorkow, who is the best we've probably ever seen, to teach him is really fascinating and something that is a golden advantage and makes a massive difference to his career. We're going to give him 10 points. Unfortunately for Superbond, there is no evidence to support that he has any real threat of submission that he could use if he was to fight in an open MMA style tournament. Maybe later in his career, he might train and move to MMA. I would really love to see that. But for now, without the training and evidence, we have to give him a lower score. This gives Superbond a total skill score of 75 points. Taking a look quickly, what I think to be Superbond's strengths and weaknesses. 
His fighting IQ and the way he reads his opponent's movements so he can counter them is absolutely flawless. Similar to his trainer in Buakau, he has a strategy that is smarter and more patient. Not only does this make him a calm and patient fighter, but it also helps him save energy to prevent from becoming tired when fighting. His timing of the rear kick, especially when breaking away from the clinch or when his opponent is trying to back away from an exchange, is nothing short of perfect. The way he is able to throw it so accurately in close as opposed to being in a better kick range from the outside is absolutely amazing. It has quickly become his best KO weapon. Of course, though, without spending time on the mats, practicing wrestling takedown defense and grappling techniques, he's really going to struggle if he is matched up with a more rounded mixed martial artist who is of similar size or bigger. I really do hope that he begins training these skills in order to compete in MMA soon. So there we have it, my fellow fight fans. Superbond finishes with an overall skill score of 75 points. Many fans of Superbond like to compare him with his trainer, Buakau. It's hard not to. They share a lot of things in common with their fight style and best weapons of attack. But I think it's best that we do not compare them. But we should appreciate Superbond for his own skills and the career that is surely going to be very special in his own right. To compare him with one of the best Thai fighters we've ever seen in Buakau it's really not the right thing to do. They are both special and individual fighters. If you haven't already and you like what this channel is about, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm bringing out new videos just like this each and every week. Superbond's going to be coming up in our next Fantasy Fight Breakdown matchup, so tune in for that one. And until next time, I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching, and I'll see you back here at Fantasy Fight Breakdowns.